One of the biggest smartphone surprises of 2019 so far is this beastly wee bugger right here, the ASUS Zenfone 6. Now this handset has defied all expectations on quite a few fronts, from that cute flippable camera tech to the overhauled Zen UI experience. Now it's been a full week since ASUS has launched, and this is my in-depth love and hate list, so you can see all the best and the worst bits of the Zenfone 6. And for more on the latest and greatest mobile tech, please do pog subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers! Now first up, I'm going to have to start with a pretty common complaint with any 2019 smartphones. The Zenfone 6 is absolutely bleed and massive. Sure, the bezels are pretty dinky, but you really feel this 6.4 inch beast when it is stashed in your shorts. Mercifully, ASUS has at least added a one-handed mode to Android via that Zen UI interface, so you can shrink everything down and avoid doing yourself a serious thumb injury. And you even get some fingerprint gesture support as well for dragging down that notifications bar. And because it's quite a dinky sensor there on the back, I find that I don't accidentally knock it like I do with scanners on the likes of the Pixel 3s for instance. Next up isn't really a love, it's more of a quite like, and it's all to do with that physical smart key housed over on the right edge of the Zenfone 6. You can push this once for the Google Assistant, or you can customise the functionality, so for instance, you can turn it into a pushy version of the OnePlus 7's alert slider. However, you unfortunately can't set that smart key to open up your favourite app. Instead, you're limited to this rather short list of actions right here in the settings. And it's another almost love for that Full HD Plus IPS screen, which offers a full view experience unfettered by notches and other annoying bits like that. This display is pretty punchy and exceedingly bright as well, topping out at a mighty 600 nits. And you also get a limited amount of customization to tweak the color temperature to suit your own personal preferences. However, unfortunately, the auto brightness is utterly balked. This often plunges down to the very minimum setting, even when you're stood in extreme sunlight, which I know is a bit of a rarity for the UK, but it's still pretty bloody annoying when it happens. Still, despite the complete lack of any kind of pre-installed screen protector and my general cack handedness, there are Thankfully, no scratches or scuff marks on that gorgeous screen after a full week of basically being stashed in my bag, in my pants, wherever I roam. And that is, of course, thanks to the hardy Gorilla Glass 6 finish. Now, something that's definitely slapped into the love category is the audio chops of the Zenfone 6. You get an actual headphone jack for plugging in a proper wired pair and full DTS-X support as well. You can piddle about with the audio range to suit your choice of music and enjoy supported content with full surround sound. And if you do decide to go wireless, of course, you've got full Bluetooth 5 support with Aptex HD also on board. Don't expect too much from the so-called stereo setup, however, unfortunately, that earpiece up top packs about as much punch as a spider's fart in a hurricane, so that the bulk of your sound is basically blasted out of this bottom fire and speaker down here. It's still absolutely fine if you're just kicking back with a bit of video or something, but definitely recommend headphones or a proper speaker instead. Another entry for the love category is the performance. The Zenfone 6 is basically speedier than Usain Bolt with a firecracker lodged in his rectum. Packed inside this phone, you get a Snapdragon 855 chipset backed by either 6 or 8 gigs of RAM. So basically, you can do whatever the fudge you like and everything will be nice and nippy. Plus, with a bit of Game Genie feature action as well, you can live stream or record your gaming sessions and block all those pesky notifications so your mum doesn't distract you from your PUBG session just to tell you that anti mod piles are acting up again. And there's a performance boost feature on board as well, like you'll be needing that anytime soon. I also really love the mammoth 5000 mAh battery stuffed inside the Zenfone 6. That makes it on par with the Moto G7 Power as far as capacity is concerned, although sadly the battery life isn't quite as strong here on the Zenfone. You'll still more than comfortably make it through a full day of play on a full charge, even with plenty of camera action, media streaming and gaming and so on, but you will want to charge it up every night just to be sure. And more big love heading the Zenfone 6's way thanks to the refreshed ASUS Zen UI 6 experience. It's basically very, very similar to stock Android now with an emphasis on performance. You do still get a fair few bonus features chucked on top, similar to the likes of Oxygen OS. These include welcome bits like a proper dark mode, plenty of gesture support, and stuff that I've already banged on about like the one-handed mode and that game genie effort. It's all a very clean and neat package and really rather spiffing. And refreshingly, Izu seems really committed to the long-term future of the Zenfone 6 as well. It's already guaranteed an update to Android Q and then beyond that, a year later, Android R. 
as well, which is all the more important and gets a big thumbs up considering certain revelations that emerged earlier this week. Get ready for some more praise because I absolutely love the adorable flip camera as well. This wallops that dual lens setup around to the front on demand. So pretty much all of those features are available for both a bit of front and back action. Fnaf fnaf. This includes the ability to shoot lush looking 4K videos at 60 frames per second, featuring your gorgeous mug. You get full physical control of that camera as well. The volume rocker can change the tilt while the smart key can be used as a shutter button to take photos. And Asus has thrown in some nifty features to make full use of that flexible setup, including a rather cool auto panorama mode. Of course, making all of this work is a rather complex mechanism consisted of 13 individual gears. Asus has of course stress tested it, reckons it's got a lifespan of about 100,000 flips in all, which should be enough but there is always a chance that it could take a knock or something like that, and then that's your camera buggered. And thankfully, Isus has added in drop protection, so the camera will quickly zip back into position if the phone detects that it's in freefall. Check out my full Zen Phone 6 camera review for all you need to know about the optics and its various features. And last up, I do love the Zen Phone 6's asking price. This thing starts at just €499 Euros for the entry-level model, which packs 6 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of storage, rising at just 599 for the absolute top premium billion big bollocks model. That is solid value considering the premium setup here. You don't get that same stunning screen of the OnePlus 7 Pro, but on most other fronts it is at least a match. So right there is what I love and not so much love about the Zenfone 6. As you can see, it is a fantastic all-round package, especially for that rather affordable asking price. But are you tempted? Definitely let us know in the comments down below. Be great to hear your thoughts. And please do poke subscribe and ding that notifications bell for more on the latest and greatest tech. Cheers, everyone. Love you.